Hoppa, I'm Jack the Greek, and welcome back for another episode. Today, look at our bench, it is full. We're not just cooking one meal, we're actually gonna cook two. You might ask why, because at the moment, we are fasting. So, we have our family members that wanna fast, and then we have our kids who wanna still have some meat, even though we're coming up to Easter. So, what I'm gonna make, you might be asking. Two meals, the first meal is gonna be some beautiful filleted chicken, which we've we got from Preston Free Range Poultry and Game, and as you can see, our friend Dimitri there and Betty have kindly boned it for us. Deboned it, I should say, so there's no bone at all in the chicken. So what we're gonna do with that is put it in a tray. We're gonna complement it with some salt, pepper, oregano, olive oil, and lemon, and we're gonna cook it in our beautiful Crossroad barbecue. Now, the way we're gonna cook it is we're gonna cook it on the top grill. We're gonna cook it for 10 minutes either side and it should take us around 20 minutes to cook. Our second meal, we're gonna make sofasolia with vegetables. Broad beans with vegetables and red sauce. And the way we're gonna do that is use another tray. We're gonna put our broad beans and our beans in, cut up some celery, some carrot, some fresh tomato with some canned tomato as well, a bit of olive oil, water, salt and pepper. And once again, we're gonna put it in the Crossroad barbecue. We should be able to time these together. They'll both should take around 20 minutes each, and then we're gonna complement it with some beautiful chopper. Okay, we're back now, and it's time to prepare, prepare our two meals. The first one we're gonna prepare is our chicken. But let's have a look here, come up close to see our Crossroad barbecue. It's sitting on around 300 degrees. We've had all four burners on high, and we're gonna keep them on high because today, both meals are gonna be cooked on the top grill. And that's one of the great benefits of the Crossroad barbecue. You can cook on the bottom grill, which is a lot more intense and a lot more quick cooking. Whereas if you use a top grill, you can use the benefit of the hood and cook it as if you're having an outdoor oven. So let's get back to our tray. We've got our tray, it's a standard tray. And what we're gonna do first is put a little bit of olive oil at the bottom, just like that. Beautiful, not too much, because we are also gonna put some on top. So that, and then we've got our chicken, beautiful free range chicken with, without the bone. And we've got to thank again Betty from Preston Free Range Poultry and Game. We're going to get our salt and pepper, put plenty of that on there, just like that. And we will turn it over to make sure we do coat the other side, just like that there. Then we have some oregano here. Our friend Steve, thank you Steve. Beautiful oregano, fresh, straight from Cyprus. Just come off the, off the plane the other day and just there. So we'll turn it upside down. Just like that. Wipe our hands and put a bit more pepper just like that. And oregano. Beautiful, beautiful. And of course, some freshly squeezed lemon. Just to complement it like that. Just there. And I will put a couple of bits of garlic. And again, let's thank our friend Dimitri for some organic garlic that he provided for us and we just break it up into little bits like that and just put it in beautiful excellent just like that just a bit more olive oil on top just there i like to put a little bit of water at the bottom just so it doesn't stick just like that and we put it straight in into our crossray barbecue. I'm gonna come in close, we'll put it straight up here, just there, and we'll leave it there for around 10 minutes. We'll turn it over, give it another 10 minutes to brown, and it'll be ready to go. Now, time to prepare our second meal. Second meal. We did need another tray, but first of all, we also need a sieve and a small bowl. Because what we're gonna to do today, to make this a lot easier, we're just gonna use some canned beans just like that. So beautiful, Hoppa. just like that, there's one. We'll grab a couple more. That's it. Nice and quick, easy meal. It only takes 20 minutes to make this meal, so you could even make it on a weeknight. But of course today, we're complementing it with two meals. But the second meal is some beautiful chicken with, some, with a Greek salad. So we'll put the beans in. Just like that, is to get our beautiful fresh vegetables and tomato and start preparing them. You don't have to be too special in how you prepare them. 
cut up your carrots just down the middle just like this and then just slice them just like that and what we'll do next is we'll put our celery and our tomatoes and of course we'll put our salt and pepper so there are our carrots just like that We now have our celery, just grab a bunch, cut it up, just like that. Pour it in, and there we go, just like that. So our fresh tomatoes, as I said, we are gonna use canned tomatoes and fresh tomatoes. So our fresh tomatoes, we just cut them up like this, into little bits, just like that. This one as well. You can see this tomatoes are straight from my garden, Jack the Greek's garden. Look at them, beautiful. Look at them break up. Look at that. And really, you're not gonna need much um, canned tomatoes for these, because this should do most of the job. So we'll pour that in as well, just like that. Let's give it a bit of a mix, coming close, just to see how it's going. And a little bit of homegrown parsley as well. We'll cut that in. Just like that. And we'll grab one of our canned of tomatoes. And we'll pour that in like that. Okay, so that's done. The rest of this in like that and don't forget our salt and pepper plenty of salt and pepper some people might call this a version of minestrone but I'll call it a version of fasulava on the crossroad barbecue so a bit of olive oil watch closely we'll fill it up with water probably three quarters of the way up because it will absorb it and we also need it all to cook and process just like that we've been cooking our two meals on the crossroad barbecue now for around 10 minutes we've had all four burners on high and we've had our hood down so come in have a close look and let's see how we're going look at that beautiful and you can see how our beautiful beans are all boiling and starting to cook now for the next 10 minutes all this water will evaporate and it will become a lot more thicker and solid. Beautiful, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, excellent. Okay, now we have our chicken. So we need to turn our chicken over. So we'll grab our chicken, bring it right here onto our workbench and we'll just turn it over. You can see it's beautifully cooking away. Look at that, Opa. We've got our garlic at the bottom. We'll turn it over. It's got plenty of spices, so we don't need to add any more spices. And we just put it back in like that. Beautiful. That's it. And we put it back in. Opa. That's it. Just like that. We'll give that another 10 minutes and we'll be back to plate it up with our beautiful ciabatta bread. Opa. It's been around 20 minutes since we've been cooking on the Crossroad barbecue. And just to recap, we've had all four burners on high for around 20 minutes, cooking our beautiful two dishes. We've been cooking a beautiful boneless chicken. And thanks to Betty from Preston Free Range Poultry and Game for supplying our chicken. And we've also got our beans over here with vegetables. We can call it fasulada, really, but it's on the barbecue. Plate here. Now we're gonna make a small little salad. So what we're gonna do is simply just grab the lettuce, just like that. We've pre-washed our lettuce, which is very important. Put that in a bowl, just like that. Oopa. One more bit of lettuce, just like that. We've got our Tomatoes from the backyard. We'll just cut that out like that. That's it there. We'll cut it up into beautiful slices. That's it. And we'll put them in there. Just like that. There we go. And we've got some feta. 
This is homemade Greek feta. We've got to thank our friend Dimitri. And yes, you'd see a connection with Betty and Dimitri. Dimitri is Betty's wife from Preston Free Range Poultry and Game. And we thank them again for the chicken, but also for Dimitri's homemade Greek feta. Beautiful. There we go. Just like that. And we'll put that in there. Let's grab our chicken from, from the Crossray Barbecue. There we go. Excellent. And our beans are nearly ready as well. So we've got our chicken. And what we can do is we have our breasts here that are all falling apart, which is beautiful, magnificent. Just like that. Hoppa. Our small, smaller bits here, and again, the point of this is is to simply plate it up so the kids can can attack it. Just on this side here, the breast as well. You can see it's a little bit tighter, but we'll break that up. Look at that! Look how it just falls apart while well, it's been cooking on the Crossray barbecue for around 20 minutes. So we'll break it up into small parts like this, so the kids can just grab it. They can also grab a little bit of salad on the side. So we'll cut it up just like that. A couple of the kids might like a little bit of skin, so we'll put that in there. We'll put that away for now, and that looks perfect. We'll mix up our salad. There. We'll put a couple of bits just like that. Just there on the side. Just like that. Beautiful. So, what we have here is a beautiful boneless chicken cooked on a crossray barbecue for 20 minutes with some beautiful Greek salad. Opa. So let's put down now our chicken with our beautiful Greek salad that we've made and let's prepare our beautiful fasolia. Now quickly just drop that onto the bottom grill while we're waiting just to give it that extra little sizzle at the end. Look at that. Ah, opas. Come in close and have a look how beautiful, beautiful it is all, the water has now condensed. All the vegetables are cooked and it's ready to be plated up. So what we'll do now is we'll grab our plate, which is just here, and we'll just put it in the front there. So what we'll do is we'll just put it in the plate just like this. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. You will not get a healthier meal on a Crossray barbecue. While we're fasting as Greeks towards Easter, Obviously, you can cook this inside, but you can also cook it in a beautiful crossroad barbecue. We'll just clean that up a little bit, just like that. And we can't forget our bread. Let's cut some beautiful bread. Oh, but listen to that. Straight from Preston Market today. I bought this bread, nice and fresh. Just like that. We'll grab a couple of pieces, and put it on the plate like this. Just like that. A couple of bits of fresh parsley on top. Clean up our table, just here. Just like that. And we have that beautiful fasolia with vegetables on the Crossray Barbecue by Jack the Green. Bye-bye.